And welcome back. Friday Night Football number 37, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. Our Blitz Cash Bounty still alive right now as this is our third round. Rage, our previous week's winner, looking to repeat, take home another $1,000 for winning the tournament this week. But if he can do that and go back to back, he'll take home the extra $1,000 Blitz Cash brought to you by Rocket Mortgage Home is so much more than a house. It's your personal luxury luxury box. By making the complex simple, Rocket Mortgage has built a mortgage experience centered around you, personalized and convenient. So you can spend the time scouting the competition and making your house a home. Push button, get mortgage, Rocket Mortgage, NMLS number 3030. Zan here calling the action with Boogs Remote. We'll be back in the Huntsville studio next week as Rage picks up the first down here on his first fourth down and short of the ball game. So haven't seen him in too many fourth downs, Bugs, but uh, here early on makes a conversion. And the thing about Rage's offense is that he's giving people different looks for different situations. He hit the fourth down, you see he's in that tight. Um, so he's in a formation in a set that his opponent isn't used to because he's been running this wing flex close or the strong guy tight or the strong guy wing or the strong H wing, I'm sorry. He's in all these different formations for different situations. And so it's making it tough on his opponents to kind of key in on one thing. And a round of applause in the chat as Glutar ends the drought. He claims at the buzzer. Congratulations to Glutar winning our first giveaway of the night. So we're behind. We've actually got more giveaways to come up here as Bo Jackson up the middle here for a gain of nine. Second down and one coming up. But if you guys win a giveaway tonight, you can win a Joe Thomas or you'll get a bundle of Ray Lewis, his power up, the 92 Cam Newton, the 92 Tyler Lockett, and the 92 Earl Thomas most feared items all together as Bo Jackson. Oh, he had the lane, and that's a huge block shed at a tackle by Fancy. Third down and two coming up. This is the get back game. Not only is there $1,000 on the line, but this is Fancy's opportunity to revenge to get revenge for his homeboy J wall in this matchup here, or is Ray just going to just claim himself as the TNC killer? Which one is it going to be right now? It, it, it's hard to bet against rage. His defense has been just too good. And his offense has been enough. I'm not gonna say his offense is the most high octane thing we've seen, but he's played smart and that's all he's had to do because his defense has been so stout as it's Bo Jackson up the middle. And that's what I'm finding is a lot of the guys that rely heavily on how good their defense is, they they go with Bo because Bo is just, I mean, he's got that blend of everything, size, speed, he falls forward consistently. He can get the stiff arm, the trucking animations with the bruiser. Uh, a lot of the guys that play great defense rely heavily on this guy. And then I think he has the, if I'm not mistaken, he has the full Bo. So he has him with bruiser, bruiser and uh, 90 oh he doesn't have the star on him but he's practically a bruiser when you have him maxed out with the way that he plays he runs he breaks a lot of tackles he's super fast he I think he has him at 92 or 93 speed so he's he's really a pain to deal with back at the end zone touchdown rage marvin harrison gets on the board first that extra point should make it a seven nothing ball game here in round number three that's up a good rage with the touchdown lead. At Rocket Mortgage, we get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. Again, guys, so grateful to have Rocket Mortgage on board as a member of the Mutthead family. Even if you're not in the market for your first home purchase, your second home purchase, what have you, you will be at some point in your life. And uh, we'll just make sure to keep Rocket Mortgage in your mind. I know a lot of you guys out there are some of the, the younger viewers in our audience. I never thought that time would, go, would come personally for myself, and it did. Rocket Mortgage is dedicated to taking all those difficult and overwhelming and stressful aspects of buying your first home and making them easy on you. So that way you can uh, focus on the, the things you want to do, which is building your man cave or, you know, setting up your, uh, your console and all, and all those things. So make sure you guys uh, keep them in your mind as that is going to be a dropped interception. Like rage had three guys wow. get hands on that. That every 
as soon as the ball released out of the quarterback's hands, I mean, he I just saw him plant his foot and just go. It's that area is impressing me after just play after play. He's impressing me more and more with the plays that he's making on the field and how good he's looking. His stick by That's Ed the- Reed. <laughs> I mean, he's got it all. I I say it every year. Ed Reed is always my favorite safety to use, even if he's not, you know, like the big hitting of, say, like uh, Jamal Adams or, uh, you know, the top end speed of, you know, in the past, we've had guys like Sean Taylor in the game. Um, Mm -hmm. But he's got all the he's got all the traits. He's clutch. He's got the big hitter trait, which. I would rather have a 80 hit power player with the big hitter trait than a 90 hit power player that doesn't. Um, it's just the way the game plays. Ed Reed does it all for you. And with us playing on all Madden, that 90 zone coverage, they break on the ball right away, just like you had said. Oh, most definitely. He, the way that Ed Reed is playing is ridiculous. You notice there where he's just shifted his defensive back on the right side of the field back a little bit because he gave Fancy a touchdown on the last play, but t- uh, Fancy missed it. So right there, what Rage did was move that cornerback back just a step, a couple steps, so he wouldn't give up that same touchdown. And yet another stop by Rage. He's got the ball once again in field goal range, already up by seven. This man is defending that bounty. He wants two thousand dollars here tonight, Bugs. I mean, we haven't seen anybody defend their own bounty in the first round. He's three rounds deep right now. We're talking about final four and it's becoming a reality that he could be walking home with $2,000 tonight. It doesn't seem like anybody has been prepared for, you know, his, his overwhelming defense and then his ball control style offense. Yeah. It, right now he's looking like, he's looking like the favorite to win this tournament. I mean, he, he won last week's tournament. I, I feel like his face is, Fair to say and safe to say that Rage is the favorite for this tournament right now with the way that he's playing. The winner of this game will take on the winner of Prodigy and Joe Rice as that's Marvin Harrison in the flat. Touchdown. This band is surgical right now. Marvin Harrison doing the heavy lifting. His second touchdown of the first half. Two possession lead. And I mean, this is looking like a carbon copy of pretty much every game we've seen Rage in. Just first half, 14 nothing. And next thing you know, you've got to you've got to go up tempo in a game that is much tougher to to score quickly in than previous years. Most def- definitely, yeah. honestly, this game right here, I saw somebody mention in the chat about Rage filling himself right now. This is very similar to what I was talking about. Rage is one of those guys. He is hasn't always been the most confident guy with how he plays and how he approaches the game, but I think. That Friday night victory last week and the momentum and the way he's playing just to start this tournament, he's starting to get that mom- that momentum and that confidence in himself. And it's starting to show with how he's playing right now. And look at him. He's he's balling out. He's looking like one of the best right now in the tournament, if not the best. That's going to be intercepted by Ramsey. Back the other way. Cross midfield down to the 47 and now rage in full control of this game. I mean, shoot, I don't want to say it, but it feels like this ball game's over and it fancies a hell of a player. I mean, it wouldn't shock me if you told me 20 minutes from now that he came back and, and made it a game, but it just doesn't seem like anybody has got the antidote for rage right now. Yeah. He, he's, he has his groove going. Like my guy in the chat said, he, he's, he's flowing. He's feeling himself. He has that confidence. And when you have that confidence, honestly, you're unstoppable when you when you have the game to back up the confidence. When you're when you're tough and you have the confidence, there's nothing can stop you. You just go on and win. That's that's what make the greats great. That's what's allowed Skimmo to be able to win three belts. That's what has allowed Dreamy to be able to get two belts. That's what's allowed Mo to be able to get two belts. These guys are confident and then they have the game to back it up. We already mentioned Prodigy versus Joe Rice, the other matchup going on at the top of our bracket. Our other four players still alive at the bottom of the bracket, Saya versus Electric DC3 and Joke versus Big George. So uh, might we see a potential Rage versus Joke final? That would be interesting as Joke has probably played the most consistent Madden, but Rage is playing the hottest Madden right now. Yeah, and then we could potentially have a rematch. Because that, that's who Rage beat last week, right, in the finals? So it was a joke, right? Right. I mean, it, yeah, we're just to the point that this is 
<laughs> you expect Joke to be there every week. And right now, I feel like I expect Rage to be there once again tonight. That would be a nice little rematch for Joke. Uh, we know that that one probably didn't sit well with him coming up just short last week. Uh, but Joke still got a few games in front of him. Big George playing well tonight with victories over VY Electrify and the King. Uh, Joke has beat A Dot and D Croft tonight. So we actually have our first of our final eight games go final prodigy 16 joe rice 14 so now prodigy gets to watch the second half of this game and see if he could figure out a formula to either move the ball and rage or how to stop this very multiple offense i like what you were saying earlier he's hopping back and forth between these formations he'll hop in the wing close flex strong h tight then he comes out mm -hmm. in the tight offset tight or not the tight slots formation here a little bit of a jet sweep, just keeping you constantly guessing what he wants to do. Yeah, exactly. It's constantly keeping pe people, keeping the defense on their toes. You never know what's coming. And by the time you realize it, he already hit you with it. So it's, it's tough to deal with when he's giving you all these different looks. And it's really situational. He really wants to just come out here, run the ball, and just control the clock and control the possessions. But what he's doing is once he ends up in certain situations, he, he switches it up. Huge touchdown right there by that Bo Jackson right there. That full Bo Jackson is a beast. He breaks tackles. You don't even need to add Bruiser. He just makes plays. All rage in this one as that extra point makes it 21-0. We have another one of our final eight games going final. Joke with an absolute drubbing of Big George. 31-14. He's going to move on to the final four. He'll take on the winner of Saya versus Electric 